thought I'd take you for a little uh, tour around the cockpit of the LMP3 car. Um, completely different level of information on here than what I'm used to in my, obviously, in my GTA car. Um, we have also got various different throttle maps on this little dial here. Currently, I'm using number five. Number one, I've been told, is the one where it's almost instant power the moment you touch the throttle at the minute we're sort of halfway forgiving as it were uh, for when i touch that accelerator uh, we've got traction control on this side as well something i'm not familiar with i've just left it on what you know charlie set it up like for me um we've got pit limiter i've got one of those same thing just using a pit limiter just limits the speed you go when you're driving through the pit so you can absolutely floor it on the accelerator so the car won't kangaroo hop or stall but you're not going to go beyond a certain speed that's sensible for the pits um, we've got the neutral button start button exactly the same we've actually got a page button on here where we can see various different bits of information if I want to as I'm driving and different setups which is actually pretty amazing and have a little LED uh, LCD screen in front of you um, there is a radio button so my GTA doesn't have a radio button so I could potentially if I had put a radio kit in and there was the availability to do it I could actually push that and talk to the team as I'm driving around which would be awesome after that I don't know if you can see up here that is my rear view that is the rear view of what's behind me and that's from a camera mounted just on the rear of the car so that's actually, so it's just mounted on the rear of the car. That's not like a mirror. That is just because there's obviously you can't see behind. There's no rear window or anything like that. So then we've got all of this lot, which if I'm honest, as I'm driving, I'm not really touching any of this. I just don't need it. I mean, there's a full course yellow button. There's a drink button here if I needed some. We've got lights and indicators um, and things like that as we need them. We've got the rain lights. We've got a reset button. I don't know what that does. We've got e-pass. Don't know what that does. Ignition and master um, switch. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then we've got an emergency fire system button just here, which I won't press. Interestingly, there's a tiny little button right on the top here. I don't know if you can see that or zoom in on that one. That is what I press when I come into the pits and turn the car off. Um, so yeah, and then the other thing that we've got, now when this door is closed, you can just see it on the left-hand side here, we've got this sort of head brace as it were and that basically if my head starts wobbling about too much that actually is my sort of rest and I can lean my head either side on it but I've also got one on this side but as you can imagine if there was a crash and I couldn't get out that side because I'd put it in the barrier that side I'd need to get out that way so what I do is I push that and this pings open which allows me to run out that way if I ever need to so yeah a little bit different it looks like this is wide enough for a two-seater but there is absolutely no way that it is um i can't imagine another human being be able to fit in this space it's just there's no way um so yeah that takes you through pretty much most of the stuff i'm aware of now that i've just done a few laps in the car um and uh, i hope that was interesting to have a quick look at it.